Hello everyone, welcome to Chanakya IAS Academy Current Affair MCQs. Let's see today's questions. Question number one. A duckal caves recently seen in news is located in which of the following state? The options are A. Bihar, B. Karnataka, C. Kerala, and D. Andhra Pradesh. The correct answer is C. Kerala. These caves are located 3,900 feet above the sea level on the majestic Ambukuthi Hills. The name Adakal itself means a stone in between. The unique intricate stone carvings that date back to the Neolithic and Mesolithic ages. The caves are two natural formations that are believed to have been formed by a large split in the huge rock. These feature Neolithic era pictorial writings believed to be dating to at least 6000 BCE. Let's see the features. The caves spot human and animal figures besides symbols and letters. Inside the caves are pictorial drawings and engravings that indicate the presence of ancient human settlements in the region. Despite their name, the Edical Caves are not actually caves. They are part of a prehistoric rock shelter formed naturally when one huge boulder got wedged between two bigger ones. Human figures, animals, tools, vehicles, day-to-day -day occurrences and scripts in different language scripts have been discovered here. The diversity of the engraving suggests that the Edical Caves were inhabited several times at different points in the history. The Muniaras or ancient burial sites that have been discovered in these hills have yielded a rich collection of ancient earthenware and pottery. Question number 2. Operation Nanne Farishte recently seen in news is related to A. Curb the evil plans of human traffickers B. Redress security related complaints of train passengers C. Rescue children and reunite them with their family and D. To step up the process of development of regional rapid transit system. The correct answer is C. Rescue children and reunite them with their family. Operation Nanne Farishte, the operation aims to rescue children and reunite them with their family. It was launched on Indian railways by the Railway Protection Force. Operation AAHD it is an effective operation to curb the evil plans of human traffickers. Operation Uplabd in this operation, the touts were arrested and legal action was taken against them as per law. Touts are the persons who sell tickets unofficially at a much higher price than the official price, especially outside the theatre, stadium, railway station or other places. Operation Yatri Suraksha In order to redress, security related complaints of passengers in distress and for immediate assistance this operation was launched question number three the state of economy report is released by the options are a reserve bank of india b ministry of finance c niti ayog and d ministry of commerce and industry the correct answer is a reserve bank of india the State of the Economy Report is a paper that the Reserve Bank of India releases which gives a summary of how the country's economy is doing. The report talks about things like prices going up, how much the economy is growing, how many people have jobs and the bank's plan for managing money. The RBI uses the report to make decisions about interest rates and other economic rules and it also helps people like economists, investors and regular citizens understand the economy and make smart choices. Question number 4. Indian Army's recent initiative to promote indigenous military knowledge by merging ancient strategic insights with modern military practices is named. The options are A. Project Udbhav B. Project Avishkar C. Project Shakti and D. Project Chanakya the correct answer is A. Project Udbhav. The effort for the integration of India's ancient strategic acumen into the contemporary military domain and develop an indigenous strategic vocabulary rooted in India's philosophy and culture was launched under Project Udbhav of Indian Army. Question number 5. 
बेस्ट टूरिज्म विलेजेस इनिशिएटिव इज बाय ए यूनाइटेड नेशंस एजुकेशनल साइंटिफिक एंड कल्चरल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बी यूनाइटेड नेशंस वर्ल्ड टूरिज्म ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सी नीति आयोग एंड डी यूनियन मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ टूरिज्म The correct answer is B United Nations World Tourism Organization Dhodo village in Gujarat made it to the World Tourism Organization's best villages list It is a global initiative to highlight those villages where tourism preserves cultures and traditions celebrates diversity provide opportunities and safeguards biodiversity United Nations World Tourism Organization is the United Nations specialized agency responsible for the promotion of responsible, sustainable and universally accessible tourism. It was established in 1975 with headquarters at Madrid, Spain. We conclude today's MCQs here. Tomorrow we will meet with few more MCQs. Till then, please like, share and subscribe our channel. Thank you. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update.